Hey y'all, hi. So here I am, I'm back from my maternity leave. I believe that there's another video that I'm gonna film after this that will actually be the first one. The first one that'll be a newly filmed video since maternity leave, that'll be New Makeup Hot Takes. That should have already gone up on the channel. So this won't be your first time seeing me if you've watched that video. But this is my first time seeing you and my first time getting back in the saddle since my maternity leave. So that's really the vibe for me today. It is weird, exciting, in some ways very welcome, in other ways very challenging to be starting up the studio again, to be coming back to work. So there's sort of this weird alternate universe feeling to me sitting down to work here. And it must be said, the news of the world has been so horrific and tragic. In addition to all that's been going on in my household and in my life, I've been grieving, you know, just over here, heartbroken. And I I think a lot of you are in the same position. So I felt like for this video getting back on the horse, I needed to ease the re-entry to make it something really light, easy, fluffy, and cozy. And so what I'm doing is just opening a bunch of boxes that have come while I've been on maternity leave that I haven't been able to open. PR from brands who I've sent things for me to feature. And there's kind of a question here, like what do you want to see me apply on camera? What are you eager to hear reviews of. I don't know if I have capacity to really methodically go through and thoroughly review everything because there's a backlog of two months. So I will show you what's here and react to what's here in a very low stakes, just getting my sea legs again. Oh wait, we were going with the horse metaphor. Just gathering up the reins again type of type of way. Is that, I don't remember how the sentence started. I'm gonna do it in a just gathering up the reins again type of way. And then your part will be to tell me in the comments, what is the thing or what are the things that are piquing your interest the most? I usually say, if you're new to my channel, then hello, my name is Hannah. It seems, I guess there's always someone watching for the first time. Maybe there's just one of you out there. <laughs> to you, one person who's clicked on this video before having ever seen any of my other content, welcome. My name is Hannah. My channel's part of the YouTube beauty community. I also make content about fashion. I've been on maternity leave for two months. So, you know, might be a little awkward, a little bit of a stutter start. Bear with me as I learn to ride once again. And now let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Okay, now that we're here in the meat of the video, I'm daunted. I was like, this is easy. I'll just open the boxes and talk about the stuff and we'll discuss what I'm gonna review. And now I'm here. I'll take a picture of what is here before me so you can see what we're dealing with. Actually, it doesn't look, that I'm not gonna put the picture in because it doesn't actually look that bad. When I framed up the picture, I was like, Hannah, get yourself together. There's like 10 boxes here, you can do it. So let's just start with these things that my hand keeps hitting because they're right here. So some things I've kind of opened and taken out the inner box and recycled the outer box. So I like know vaguely what it is. I just haven't dug in to anything. You know what I mean? I haven't really been able to commit. In fact, I know that this is kind of a lot. At least for me, this eye makeup is kind of a lot for just a cozy, casual unboxing video, essentially, which is what this is. Not the high concept content for which I am sometimes known. This is really just all I could get myself together to do today. But I kind of went overboard. I was putting on makeup, which I have. I've been wearing a little base makeup up and brows from time to time, but I haven't put on eye makeup, you know, in a couple of months. And when I first sat down to do it, I was daunted as I am now by these boxes. And 20 minutes later, I was like, and a little bit there and a little bit here and a little bit here. And I was like really feeling myself and enjoying myself. So that's good, right? That's good. Maybe it'll be the same with this. Refer, what is this? Refer brushes. This is the problem with having thrown away the outer packaging or kind of lost sight of the context for the arrival of some of these things. I'm not quite sure what this is. It might be, I mean, these look like eye brushes and they don't necessarily look like, oh no, one max, 13 max. These must be new shapes, some of them. Maybe they're like bigger. So you know Refer, for context, makes these absolutely gorgeous makeup brushes. Definitely my favorite, tippy top favorite makeup brushes. And they have this cool system where you can get them from the concept store and test them. And I think you get them half price from the concept store, sometimes like a free brush from the concept store in exchange for giving feedback about the brushes. And then they use the feedback to refine their designs. And I think the system has been very successful. So they make these amazing using eye brushes, the basic set, like the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. And then they make tiny versions, small versions of those brushes of 
most of them, but especially the blending ones, which are amazing for hooded eyes. These must be like large versions of them because they say max on them. This says 01 max. And yeah, these are all like that. These are like maybe they're 10 basic eye brushes, but all in the max format. I don't know if it means they're larger. I'm just assuming that based on the fact that it says max. I'll do a little more research and I'll like in a comment or something if I'm wrong. The takeaway is I'm delighted to have these brushes from Refer. This is some PR that I never give away. I just keep collecting. I mean, maybe once in a while I'll begrudgingly gift one Refer brush to a friend who really needs it, but I'm like a Refer brush hoarder over here and I will be using these and I can't wait. Well, this is exciting. The new Savant Ingrid Nielsen's Candle Company, as many of you know. I'm so excited to be connected with them. Okay, so they sent Harvest Table. This is like a classic holiday candle scent. The notes are cardamom, cranberries, cinnamon sugar, pecan streusel, and toasted pistachio. So it's sweet and just like that classic nutty holiday smell for home scents. This is what the little containers look like. They're so cute, like little paint cans. I think that this is a holiday scent, but that these two are part of the core collection. Cloud Gazer and The Usual. This is kind of my jam. The Cloud Gazer notes are lavender sprigs, earl grey tea, Misted freesia, steamed vanilla, and warm tonka. I'm pretty into that. And then the usual is like a coffee house scent. So cocoa powder, pistachio, black coffee, vanilla bean, and suede oak. Gotta love some suede oak. Ooh, yeah, with a lid off, you can really smell that cocoa powder. I think I'm especially excited to burn Cloud Gazer. Thanks, Ingrid and Erica. What a great PR package. And actually, when they first reached out, I was like, listen, I'm about to have a baby. I am not gonna be able to to talk about this on my channel for months. And they were like, we don't care. And they sent it anyway. So that's really kind. Ooh. Oh yeah, classic outdated, classic like me having old news because of this situation. This is a little tea light and it says, new scent dropping September, 2023. It smells really good actually. But you know, September is over. It's already dropped. Everybody probably already, you're probably all burning it at home right now. And I'm like, preview, preview of coming attractions. Mm. To me, it has a berry quality, but also like a leather quality. I wonder what it is. Okay, this is random. La Citan sometimes sends me a product in the mail, and this is one that came recently, and it's like skincare. What I want to know is, does any has anyone used these products specifically? I'm like, I know I'm supposed to be the influencer. I'm supposed to be the one testing it and telling you, and I'm like, can you tell me if I should use this? <laughs> like, can you influence me? So it's the Immortel Duo. Oh, and I and lip cream. I kind of love that. I love it when they're like, this is an eye cream, but you can use it other places. It's probably true of every eye cream, and I like it when they just tell you. And then this is like an oil serum. I love an oil serum, but I want to know if anyone has had like a good experience with these products or a good result from these products. I'm particularly interested in the eye cream. Okay, look at this. Poor Joe. Well, not poor Joe, because he gets to use these absolutely spectacular pots and pans. So it has been kind of a situation where he's like, wah, 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 and I'm like, this is the smallest violin in the world playing My Heart Bleeds for You. You know what I mean? He has been like, when can we use, when can we use the Caraway Stainless Steel? And I'm like, we have to wait until maternity leaves over so I can open them on camera. Actually, I came, not home one day because I wasn't gone, but I came in one day and he had like opened it and was taking them out. And I was like, put them back and put them back the way that they were so that I can show the people. Because one of the, I mean, it, how can you say, when you're getting pots and pans that are gonna last a life, time, you know, or gifting them to someone, because I think this makes a great gift. The unboxing experience is only at the merest fraction of the whole experience of using them, you know, like investment homewares. So I can't say that it's like one of the greatest things about Caraway because it's ridiculous. You know, the unboxing experience is just a small thing, but it's really, they really do the most. They really give you what you pay for, kind of like from the ground up. And I feel like the unboxing experience is part of that. So here we go. Caraway launched stainless steel. They sent me the duo, the minis duo. I have more to say, but I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. What I'll say, no, I'll show you. And then I'll say what I was going to say. Here it is. <laughs> So it says the clean choice for when you need more heat because the usual caraway ceramic non-stick, non-toxic non-stick ceramic cookware, they recommend that you don't use the highest heat on it to preserve the non-stick ceramic. So this is like the same cookware, but for high heat. Okay, so that lifted out. So beautiful. This is the little frying pan. This is the little sauce pot. Oh my God. 
comes with a little lid. How beautiful is that? I actually like my, now that I'm a minimalist, <laughs> I actually like these the best. I like the like all silver. The colors are so beautiful of the Caraway cookware, the ceramic nonstick. But I've kind of grown to like the gray ones, the ones that Simbri has the best. And these are like in that same vein. This is so beautiful. I will tell you right now, this is going to live on our stovetop. And the reason I know that, this is what I was going to say before I open them up, is that as you may remember, if you saw me talking about Caraway in the past because I have been connected with them for a long time and using their cookware for quite a long time. And we still use it every day. I mean, it's still basically all we use to cook things. Their core set has like this massive frying pan and this massive sauce pot. And I just remember saying, everything's amazing about this, but we need a minis one. We need one just for two eggs. We need like a little frying pan just for two eggs. We need a little sauce pot just for like heating up two servings of milk for hot chocolate, for two hot chocolates. You know what I mean? Rather than these like large scale things. They finally launched them. And I got a ton of messages from people who were like, they finally done it. They finally launched the minis, but they didn't send them to me in PR. They only occasionally send me a launch. And Joe and I finally broke down and bought them because they're just perfect. The minis do the set that I just showed you in the stainless steel, but in the original ceramic. We bought them for ourselves and we have never looked back. We love them so much. We use them constantly, but the sauce pot of the ceramic coated ones, the mini sauce pot, we're usually using it for things for which we don't need the non-stick, but we do need high heat. When they launched these, I was like, oh my gosh, that's absolutely perfect. This one in particular, the, the mini stainless steel saucepan is go going to kind of be our go-to. And then the mini ceramic coated frying pan is like our absolute go-to. Oh, this is so pretty. So they come with a special cleaning sponge. They come with the iconic caraway storage. And I guess that these have like suede inserts. Maybe that was just for shipping. So the storage solutions to storing pots and pans, which can be awkward, that's one of the great things about Caraway, especially about their food storage system, which has something like this that fits everything in it. So the lid fits in there, the pot fits in here, and you can see the frying pan slides in there. I just love everything they do. A huge thank you to Caraway. I'm trying not to make this like I've won an Oscar every time I open a PR package, but this is something for which I am grateful on another level because we might have eventually bought it for ourselves. We, we likely would have eventually bought at least this one for ourselves because this is our cookware of choice. I think I have some sort of code with Caraway. They're always doing like a temporary things. So they'll be like, your code works for people to get 20% off like this week only or something. And I'm such a slow organic content maker that I'm never able to then turn around and be like, hey, everybody, 20% off this week. Like it's just not the way that I work. So I actually don't know if I have a code that works right now, if my link works right now, if there's a discount right now, I don't know. But that information will be with the Caraway links in my description box. I think they do do sales around the holiday season. So there might be a chance that now is a good time to buy this kind of thing. Just as I sit here filming, I'm sorry, I don't have the information. I'm sorry, Caraway. I'm sorry, everyone. But it'll be in the description box of the video. Joe's gonna be so excited. I should have just hidden the box from him and like given it to him for his birthday. Although I guess he edits the video so he would have found out, but it would have been a really good present for him. Okay, here's a box that I haven't opened. Most of these, I at least kind of knew what they were, but I don't know what's in this box from Jones Road. And I also don't have scissors or something. How did I come down here? Oh, here's like some sort of tool. Yeah, this will work. I got it. Okay. Fragrance? Jones Road Fragrance? This is not what I expected. Available October 10th, way in the past. <laughs> Has been available for weeks. Okay, so this is, okay, it's taken me a very long time to figure out what's going on here. It's a scent. It is a perfume called Shower. A light, clean scent that gives you the fresh feeling of having just stepped out of the shower. With notes of neroli, orange blossom, and sea spray, the fragrance is classic, wearable, and smells good on everyone. This is giving me like glossy the AU vibes. The updated packaging is sure to look good on anyone's counter. So this must be something Jones Road had in the past, discontinued, and then launched again. It took me a long time to figure out what it was because I was like, is it a shower product? Because it's called shower. It seemed like it was for your shower, but it's not. Wow. Wow, Jones Road. You really did it. Look at this packaging. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And the back is even blank. It's really nice. Actually, it does kind of have, it is like a older sister of Glossier U. It has something 
thing in common. It's the orange blossom, but then it has the sea spray that makes it kind of fresher, maybe? Interesting. It says not sold online, though. Where is it sold? If it's not sold online, where is it sold? Oh, maybe the trial-sized one isn't sold online. They sent an exclusive trial-sized fragrance. And then underneath that, it says not sold online, but it makes it seem like the whole thing isn't sold online. Yeah, it smells like you wore Glossier U and you went to the beach and you got salt in your hair and you're living your best life and you fell down the stairs at the beach in your bad wig. <laughs> Maybe that is what it is the scent of. Okay, I feel like it's time to approach these two most daunting members of the unboxing party today. Once in a while, Credo, which is the online clean beauty retailer, it's like the clean beauty exclusive Sephora, will send me a box of new at Credo stuff. So it's like these things are newly launched at Credo, test them out and share with your audience if there's something that you really like. This has not always been the case. It's just something they've started doing like this summer. A couple of these boxes came while I was on maternity leave and actually it's kind of the things that I was the most wishing I could share. You know what I mean? Like that these are the things that I was like, ooh, ooh, I wish I was filming right now. I wish I could, you know. So it's exciting. And some of them, they're also the things that I like cracked into. Like there are some things that I used. I was looking at it and sort of just wrapping my mind around what it was would be facing me when it came back from maternity leave. And I was like, oh, actually, I'm doing this right now. I'm going to start using this right now. So I'm going to show you some of this stuff, but I need to do it quickly so that we're not here forever. And this is the kind of thing where it's like, you tell me what you want to hear about, because I don't think that I can like come back and review every single one of these. There's too much for it even to all make it through to my empties, you know? So let me know what you want me to start putting into the pipeline. And then eventually it will bear fruit in the form of a review. Although some of these things I know that I'm going to use. So this brand, Le Prunier, ages ago, I had their original product, which is a little bottle of prune oil. It's like a skincare product. And absolutely stunning, just nourishing, hydrating skin oil that smelled amazing. Le Prunier is branching out and they have launched this product, Plum Body. I mean, it's, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. Hmm. It lightly has the very yummy kind of raisiny fruity scent of the oil, but it also smells like really, it's like you can smell the rich moisturizing ingredient, so it's not too overwhelmingly scented. I kind of like that. Apply liberally day and night on decolletage and body as needed for intense hydration. Massage thoroughly until absorbed. I will 100% be doing that. I just did not have the capacity to start using this when I first opened it. I was like, I'm not going to be moisturizing my body this week or even this month. But now I do have the capacity. I would like to say that Le Prunier is completely beyond reproach because I loved the skin oil and this is equally tasteful. But the name Plum Body for the creams, it like hits my funny bone because it sounds like somebody. Like somebody's been using Plum Body. I guess you can have a funny name and still be beyond reproach. Okay, one out of one. That is a great thing to test. Gen C Beauty is carried at Credo, which is good to know about because they make that eyebrow brow. It's called arch support, that fiber building brow pomade, which is absolutely phenomenal and kind of the best currently on the market that I know of, of that kind of thing. These are their matte liquid eyeshadows. This is not necessarily my favorite type of product. I think I might've already tested one on camera or shown one on camera. I guess these are three new shades and that's why they're in here. So this Inner Sense Hair Renew Daily Active Serum. This came with a, another product that is in my shower right now, which was a pre-wash treatment also by Inner Sense. I was laughing because it says this soothing serum restores peace and harmony to scalps in distress. I mean, my scalp kind of is in distress sometimes. It gets dry, especially in the winter. It gets a little bit itchy sometimes. It gets uncomfortable because I go like two weeks between washes. So maybe I'll try this. I tried the other one, which was like a pre-wash treatment in the shower. You rub it on your scalp and then wash your hair. And I didn't, I don't know if it did anything. Like I didn't notice a difference, but actually like a serum might be a better fit for me for something from this brand doing what it claims to do. This brand is called Nature of Things. So one of these is a body cream. Not gonna lie, I'll probably prioritize the Le Prunier one. And then the other one is a cleansing body and scalp polish. I love a body polish for the shower. And I'm a little bit weirded out by a product that's like polish your body and your scalp with this. Oh, this is nice. Oh, but you know what? This same brand also sent, I brought the empty to show you. Look how tiny this is. Restorative floral bath. It was a liquid that you pour into the bath made with squalane, shea butter, and gel.
gemstone extracts. I'm a little bit suspicious of the gemstone extracts. However, I used this when I took the one and only bath that I've managed to take over the past two months, and it was phenomenal. Just this little liquid, the whole thing, I used the whole thing, which is more than it even says you're supposed to use. My skin was so soft. It smelled so good. I felt really relaxed. My skin felt restored. It's a great product. I'm like gonna look into getting a bigger bottle because I think that this is just a little sample size. So that makes me put a little bit of maybe more stock into Nature of Things Cleansing Body and Scalp Polish. Maybe I will attempt to polish my scalp with this, given how well it went with the gemstone extracts in the bath, and I'll let you know how it goes. So that was one new at Credo box. They had a sale. I missed it. It's fine. Oh my gosh, this is a brand I used to see way back before I was on YouTube when I was super addicted to shopping for beauty products, and I would always be poking around in like little boutique beauty stores. I would always see this brand, Indie Lee, and be intrigued by the undeniably stunning packaging decisions. I mean, let's see what the inside looks like. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a cleanser. I actually need a cleanser. This is gonna go straight into my shower because I still wash my face in the shower even though you're not supposed to. How to use, oh my gosh. It's like a slightly exfoliating second cleanse. So for an exfoliating mask, leave on for five minutes before rinsing. This is exactly the kind of thing that I like and need right now because I have been needing to do a little bit of physical exfoliation because it's gotten really dry. I haven't had the most time to take care of my skin. I haven't been doing the doing the best. I did a sheet mask before I put makeup on for this video because I was like, I can't. I was like, I can't reveal to the people how it's going. I think that this will help me. Credo, you shouldn't have. So Gen Z also launched liners, eyeliners called cruise liners. Yeah, they're like metallic and matte eye pencils. So there's a bunch of those here as well. I'm sure they're great. Everything I've tried from Gen Z has been great. They're a new brand. And so they keep releasing like their lipstick and their eyeliner and their lip liner and all this stuff. And it's all just great. It's the kind of thing you like. And if you're a Credo customer, I feel like you can't go wrong with Gen C, but it's just kind of a lot to like keep up with on my end, you know? But if you have an intense interest in that or in the matte liquid eyeshadows in the new colors, by all means, let me know. Hmm. Okay. So this, this brand Ursa Major, I've also heard about and just never really looked into. Mountain Glow Golden Serum. That looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. However, the first ingredient is coconut oil. Cocos Nucifera oil. I can only assume that it's like a very refined liquid coconut oil, which is like maybe the kind that doesn't clog your pores, but it doesn't say that. And even though, you know, my acne is hormonal, my the adult acne that I've struggled with my whole life is hormonal. And I know what causes it. And I know that sometimes it's just there. Like it's just part of my life. So I'm not as worried about what I'm putting onto my skin, triggering my acne or clogging my pores as I used to be. But I feel like coconut oil is a bridge too far. It's like the most known pore clogging ingredient in skincare. I still feel leery of it, a little bit too leery to happily test this out. I don't know. Does anyone out there know about this? Have you used it and not gotten breakouts, even if you're breakout prone? Tell me. This is exciting. Mob Beauty, so many of you have asked me to review this brand or said that you thought that I might like it. And look at this cool, I guess this is like a, a collab or something they did, it's like a little palette. The thing about Mob is that you can build your own. Oh, this is nice, look at this. It's like very salad, salad. It's very, it's very salad. It's very solid, it's giving me, I mean, I was never a MAC customer, but it's kind of elevated MAC, old school makeup, what's it called? Makeup up forever. It's kind of giving me old school makeup forever vibes. The way that this brand works, I'm worried I'm gonna like mess it up. You'll just have to trust me on this. Each of these little components pops out. These duos, I think, really want to pop one out, but I'm worried I'm gonna break my somewhat brittle new, newly grown natural nails. As far as I understand it, from what I've seen on the internet, on the Mob Beauty site and on Credo, because this is sold on Credo, you can build your own palette mixing and matching, and they have a whole bunch of really great colors, and they have cream products. So the thing that thrills my very soul about this is that these color duos, one of each of them is a cream. I'm swatching it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is, it's so nice. Cream eye. So these are cream eyeshadows. Yeah. So all four of these are cream eyeshadows. Cream and powder eyeshadow duos is what these four are. <gasps> but I feel like you could use these as blushes. Look at that light pink. I want to use that as a blush. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of pigmented. It was giving me a little more than I bargained for. I like this palette. And then these down here say sparkle balm. Wow. 
Wow, I've really, I lost my touch. I'm like struggling with it. Or maybe I was never good at this. Wow. I mean, these definitely have glitter suspended in them. So if that's not your thing, you should know about that. But it doesn't feel too emollient of a balm. You know, they do have that sort of stuff suspended in an emollient balm feeling when you start swatching them. But it's going on not super tacky. This is cool. So it's the Mob X Rose and Bean Trust the Process collection. Oh, so you pop them out using the pinhole on the back. That's why I couldn't get them out. That's good because it means they're secure in there. Pretty into this. This, no matter what you say, I'm going to start testing this. I'm especially impressed actually by the cream eyeshadow formula. That's beautiful. Oh, but I got, I got pink into the, I already messed it up. First day back and I'm already messing stuff up. I got it. I cleaned it out. A couple of random skincare products that I have never encountered before. So Odacite, California, I assume is how that's pronounced. And True Botanicals. So Odacite is an eye cream and True Botanicals is an oil. Both of these now at Credo. Another clarifying scalp exfoliant. It's like people really are out here exfoliating their scalps. A scalp exfoliant by the brand Array. And again, I'm not against exfoliating my scalp. I've just never had so many tools with which to do it. Will report back, I think, about scalp exfoliation. Huh. Iris and Romeo, Weekend Skin, Vitamin C, and Sunscreen. No! I mean, that is my cry to cur. I just won't be able to, I won't be able to wear this. But there are many of you for whom this will be fantastic and gorgeous because it looks like a very cosmetically elegant, very beautiful, and kind of good smelling, skin refining SPF and vitamin C serum. I mean, Beautiful. I just like, I'm over here needing a white cast. I need the sunscreen to have a white cast for it to work for me. So a very pretty product as far as I can tell. Oh, a new Kosas product. Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Collagen Booster. Totally gonna put this on right now. Squeezing and squeezing, nothing's coming out. <laughs> All right, I've already, here's my review. The product is too thick for the packaging. Like, look how, look at it. I'm squeezing with all of my might. And that's how slowly it's coming out. Undeniably wonderful on the lips, but in a world full of lip treatments that don't have this problem where you need like a strong man to get it out of the packaging, this one's gonna slip to the back of the drawer. I feel like Kosas has been dropping the ball a little bit with these makeup skincare hybrid type things because remember that brow growth serum that leaves the weird nasty white flakes in one's brows that I had in my video about hits and misses a few months ago. Do you remember that? Before that, that there was like a, a lip product. I can't remember if it was a lip mask in a tube or a lip balm or something that did this weird thing. I don't know if I ever talked about it on camera, but it was like, it sort of immediately wore away from the inner rim of the lips and created this edge, just like hard edge of goo that resisted moisture and just felt really weird and gross. I tried them one time and I was like, hard no. I can't remember which product exactly that was. It was similar to this, but it was like the release before this. I was so excited to get it in PR because I love this kind of thing. And then it was a hard no. And this is much better on the lips and it looks great, I think. But we'll see how frequently I'm willing to like go through the process of getting it out of the tube. Wow. Tower 28 Mascara. What's the scuttlebutt on this? Do you want to see me talk about this? Do you want to see me try it? Let me know. That does it for new at Credo. I mean, I need to use the word scuttlebutt more often. I feel like, in fact, I feel like scuttlebutt, that is a great word to talk about like community consensus on something in a community like ours, like the online beauty community. Don't let me forget. If, a, if another month goes by and I haven't said scuttlebutt again, will you just come comment on a video, scuttlebutt. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is, it, these, this is gonna help me start taking care of myself better. It's not like I'm, I was gonna demure and say it's not like I've been doing nothing, but it's kind of not the case. It hasn't been two months of self-care over here. And sometimes when you lose the habit of taking care of yourself, it can be hard to start again. You know what I mean? It can be hard to, to find like how to take the first steps towards regaining that habit. And just now, hopefully, oh my gosh, I've been filming for quite a while, hopefully far more than halfway through through filming this video, I started to get a little spark of like, oh yeah, I really love beauty products. I really love makeup. I really love this part of my job where I test things and then go into deep detail about what is good about them and what isn't good about them. And that's all wrapped up in the act of caring enough about one's own well-being to take the time. And I, I'm starting to feel like it's possible again right now. So that's good. Okay, let's knock these last couple out really quick. 
quickly, really quickly. Look at this weird bag. Texture though, you know what I love is texture. Anything textured and I'm sold. And this is actually really cool. Nikki DeRost is the makeup artist who created Rowan. Do you remember? I mean, you know Rowan, those amazing quads. That's a brand of which I have been a massive fan since day one. Really innovative, beautiful, special, everything about it, incredibly special, you know. This is Nikki DeRost's new brand and she sent me three products from the brand. I believe that the kind of guiding principle of the brand is that all of the makeup is protective, so SPF in everything, and the formulas are also really good. It's called Ciel. So this is a liquid blush and a tinted serum. And then the third thing is a sponge. I'm very curious about the color of this. The lightest shade of the serum, ivory. Oh, it looks really light. I don't want to get my hopes up. Maybe, it's a maybe. Oh, it could work. It looks like it's relatively neutral, maybe a little bit on the peach side. I will definitely test this and I'll have to test it to find out, but I have hopes, I have hopes. Ooh, this never happens that there's like a hybrid SPF tinted foundation product that has a light neutral shade, like a very a truly light and truly neutral shade that never happens. Okay, we'll test. And of course, I'm also going to test the blush and I'll swatch it too. I'm excited about this brand. I'm excited for Nikki DeRose. She, I, you know, I follow her. She's a very successful makeup artist and has impeccable taste and this is cool. Blush and protect it says. That's really pretty. I want to put it on but I already have so much blush. Oh this is a really pretty color. Again because it has like a genuinely neutral undertones. When I put on too much blush Joe always says, Melissa are you wearing makeup? It's a quote from the last episode of home movies. Anyone else? Big fans of home movies over here. Okay those and the sponge all of this is definitely going in the uh, gonna test it out, gonna report back, bin. In fact, maybe I'll do like a trying new makeup and things like this that I wanna try, we'll make it in. We'll try it on camera. All right, I feel this video is starting to get a little long in the tooth. I think I cannot make, oh, I just have a couple more. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, this tube of vitamin enriched skin tint came from Bobbi Brown, but it ha it looks, I can see, sorry, I can't talk anymore. It's fair one, I can see through the tube. That's like a clear, that's the actual color. It's gonna be too dark. And it is a chemical sunscreen, which I I try to stay away from chemical screens. It's like, these are the three things that I still stay away from for fear that they'll break me out. Coconut oil, olive oil, and chemical sunscreen. Those are the three things that I'm still, when I see them, I'm like... So I probably won't actually be trying that, but there's also the vitamin enriched pressed powder in the shade yellow. I mean, I want to want to use it. It looks pretty. What is it for? Brightening? I just don't know if it would brighten on me. It looks pretty though. I feel like Bobbi Brown really swung and missed for me, <laughs> at me with these two products, but I'm grateful. Okay, this is the last thing, a box from BK Beauty. It is the Angie Hot and Flashy Travel Brush Set and Pouch. I don't know when this launched and I hope that it's still available. So I said at the beginning that Refer makes my favorite brushes. BK Beauty makes my favorite vegan brushes. The Refer brushes have those incredible high quality natural hair bristles. They pick up pigment like nothing else. I love that and I really love the manipulation, the, the precise manipulation that I get when I use them. They know that a lot of people don't want to use natural hair brushes and to you I say BK Beauty because they're phenomenal and I have BK Beauty. It's another category of PR that I tend not to give away but rather to keep for myself. Especially the face. They do such good face brushes. I and for like blending out liquids and stuff, it's actually better, I feel, to have these vegan bristles. Really, really soft, really dense. For eye makeup, I tend to always go to my refer brushes and to dig through and make sure I'm using one of those when I'm blending out eye makeup. But for blending out, especially like complexion, this is actually, this might be a small version of the one that I use every day right now. I think I have it here. Yeah, so this is the one that I've been using. It's like a miniature of the BK Beauty 101. And that's what this is. It's part of the hot and flashy set along with these other four brushes. It comes in this little travel travel case. So yeah, thanks BK Beauty. I'm always grateful to receive brushes and it's also always nice to be able to touch base and talk about my brush preferences. It's the kind of thing that I feel like if you've been watching me, you know. You know about Refer, you know about the quality of BK Beauty brushes. Some of you haven't been around that long or maybe you've missed the videos where I've talked about that and so I always get questions like what brushes do you use? What brushes are you using? So it's always good to be able to update you on that information 
equation. And that does it. I have that old familiar feeling that I've been filming for quite a long time. I need to take a break, have some water and a snack. But it's been so long since I felt like this. It's been so long since I wore myself out filming. And it is so wonderful to feel like I'm with you. I, I mean, it's intense right now. There's a lot going on in my inner life, in my direct external life, like in my household, in the world at large, and all of that stuff blends together. What's striking me now, having sat down to do this and being here, is that it's delightful to reconnect. It, I felt disconnected. I mean, I needed to take a break. I was doing what I needed to be doing, and it was great, but I feel refreshed by being back here doing my work because I'm back with you. You know, that's like part of my job, and it's something that I've been accustomed to feeling. I maybe didn't even realize how much I missed it until this moment. Thanks for being here. Thanks for still being here after all of these weeks. I feel a little bit scrambled and like I might be forgetting something, but I think that that's probably just because I'm unaccustomed to closing out a video. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Don't forget to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. 